Many people believe happiness is a constant state of feeling good. We chase pleasure and avoid pain. This is the happiness trap. The truth is, life is full of ups and downs. Painful emotions are a normal part of life. Trying to avoid them only makes them stronger. Acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT, offers a different path. It teaches us to live a rich and meaningful life, even with difficult emotions. ACT helps us clarify our values. Values are like guiding stars. They give us direction in life. When we live by our values, we find meaning and purpose. This is true even when things are tough. This essay will explore the six core principles of ACT. We will see how these principles can help us live a more meaningful life. This is not about chasing happiness. It is about living a full and vibrant life, accepting all that comes with it. Acceptance is about making room for unpleasant feelings, urges, and sensations. It doesn't mean liking them. It means allowing them to exist without struggling against them. Imagine being caught in quicksand. Struggling only makes you sink faster. Acceptance is like relaxing into the quicksand. It allows you to eventually float to the top. For example, you might feel anxious about a presentation. Fighting the anxiety will likely worsen it. Instead, acknowledge the anxiety. Say to yourself, I'm feeling anxious right now. Then gently shift your attention back to your breath. Acceptance helps us stop the struggle and choose a helpful course of action. Our minds are constantly producing thoughts. Some are helpful, some are not. Cognitive diffusion is about recognizing that thoughts are just thoughts, not facts. They don't control us unless we let them. Imagine your mind is a radio. It's playing unhelpful songs about worry and fear. You don't have to sing along. You can choose to change the station. For instance, you might have the thought, I'm going to fail this test. Instead of believing it, notice the thought. Label it. I'm having the thought that I'm going to fail. This creates distance. You can then choose to focus on studying instead of getting caught up in the negative thought. Section 4. Being present, grounding in the now. Being present means paying attention to the present moment, without judgment. Our minds often wander to the past or future. This can lead to worry, regret, or anxiety. Being present helps us to connect with our experience in a meaningful way. A simple way to practice being present is through your senses. Take a moment to notice five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. This grounds you in the present moment. Section 5. Self as Context. The Observing Self. Self as context involves recognizing that you are not your thoughts, feelings, or experiences. You are the space in which they occur. Imagine you are the sky. Thoughts and feelings are like weather patterns. They come and go, but the sky remains. This perspective can be incredibly freeing. It allows us to observe our internal world without judgment. We can acknowledge our thoughts and feelings without being swept away by them. Section 6. Values Guiding Stars of Your Journey Values are what truly matters to us in life. They are like a compass, guiding us towards a life of meaning and purpose. Values are not goals. They are ways of being. Take some time to identify your core values. What kind of person do you want to be? What qualities do you want to embody in your relationships, work, and personal life? Examples of values include kindness, creativity, courage, and learning. Section 7. Committed Action. Taking Steps Towards Meaning. Committed action is about taking consistent steps towards your values, even when it's difficult. It's about doing what matters, even when you don't feel like it. Once you have identified your values, ask yourself, what is one small step I can take today to live in alignment with my values? It could be as simple as sending a kind message to a friend, spending time on a creative project, or facing a fear. By embracing the principles of ACT, we can escape the happiness trap and live a rich and meaningful life. We learn to accept what is beyond our control, connect with the present moment, and take action towards what truly matters. If you found this essay helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content on living a meaningful life.